Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know the news that latest chip technology in China. Every time they hear about China's achievements and breakthroughs in various fields, the Chinese people are very proud of them. Especially the science and technology related to enhancing national strength can make people feel the passion brought by this kind of success. For example, in the field of aerospace, the construction of Tiangong is in full swing, which means that China's manned spaceflight has entered the space station era. Another example, many advances in the field of quantum computer research and development have made everyone feel the progress. However, in the process of development, we will inevitably encounter competition or even suppression from other countries. Taking the chip policy of the United States some time ago, under the banner of safety and risk, it is actually cutting off supply. For China's science and technology industry, it is indeed a big challenge, but there are also opportunities for growth. Great. Domestic memory chips have made the latest technological breakthroughs, and the achievement of overtaking chips has finally been achieved. As we all know, semiconductor chips are the food for the development of modern science and technology. Nowadays, electronic digital products we use in our lives need chips to support them, and there are many types of semiconductor chips. In addition to the familiar CPU chips, memory chips are also very important. Consumer electronics, such as smartphones and computers, are inseparable from memory chips. With the continuous development of the entire memory storage chip market, NAND flash memory chips have become the mainstream of the market now. Not long ago, Yangtze Memory, one of China's memory chip companies, announced the good news that the company has achieved mass production preparations for 232-layer 3D NAND flash memory, which also means that this technology will soon be into the ranks of mass production. Compared with the flash memory technology of the United States, South Korea and Japan, YMTC's successful breakthrough this time is tantamount to a curving overtaking, which can be said to have played a very important role in the improvement of related domestic technologies. In order to let everyone know more about this technology, we will briefly introduce the company's history in researching memory. According to the data, although the YMTC established in 2016 has been established for a short period of time, its technological progress is not inferior to anyone else. For example, under the corporate policy of upgrading technology every two years, the number of flash memory layers has gradually increased from 32 layers to 64 layers and 128 layers. With unremitting efforts, it has gradually been able to walk side by side with the current mainstream technology. Such a speed all shows the company's strong ability in innovation. In fact, such efforts and forge ahead are related to YMTC's emphasis on self-research. Different from some companies that need to rely on or refer to foreign chip storage technologies, YMTC has its own set of core standards. Take the NAND memory chips that have been mass-produced and put into the market. Although they have not reached the chip level of Japan, South Korea, and other countries number, but its reading speed is significantly higher than the former. Of course, the most worth mentioning is the new NAND memory chip technology that netizens call overtaking on a curve. Level This kind of ability will put more pressure on the competitors on the track, especially the technical innovation 
has been achieved in only six years, even laymen have to give a thumbs up. In addition to being recognized for its ability and speed, YMTC's technology has actually been appreciated by Apple. Friends who are familiar with Apple's electronic products know that even though some parts come from foundries, Apple's various technical requirements have reached an outstanding level in the industry. Being appreciated this time also means that the technological level of YMTC has been upgraded to the top position in the world. Unfortunately, due to various reasons, Apple and YMTC did not reach a cooperation. YMTC also indirectly lost a more favorable market. However, even if there is no order from Apple, the domestic market demand can give Yangtze memory a lot of confidence to continue to innovate. With the support of the Chinese market, the company can still continue to grow. Whether it is recent technological breakthroughs or continuous progress and catching up, we have seen the positive trend of China's chip industry rising. From the backwardness in the past to today's dark horse, it actually means that China does not lack technology and talents in this area. If we can continue to invest and spend more time on domestic venture capital, we believe that in the future, we will be able to resist other countries. Technical Barriers and Pressure in addition to memory chips, China has made significant progress in chip manufacturing, radio frequency, etc. Especially the upgrading of many domestic mobile phones, from the need to rely on foreign factories for many components, to the fact that chips are now self-sufficient, which is indeed a good prospect worth looking forward to. According to available data, China's current average daily production of chips has reached the level of 1 billion chips, and the number of chips that originally relied on imported chips has gradually decreased by 60 billion chips. The most important thing is that China's chip self-sufficiency has also made significant progress compared with before. I believe that in the future, the domestic level will definitely have better development. In a short, the success of YMTC in chips not only demonstrates China's determination to keep improving in technological development, but also puts new pressure on the competition of the United States, Japan and South Korea. Perhaps, as Bill Gates said after the United States, cut off the supply of chips to China. Such an approach can only allow China to gradually get rid of its dependence on chips and truly embark on the road of self-supply, while the United States in the end, you can only reap the consequences. Thank you.